nine. Four. Oh, that's what you mean, like five, six, I seven, eight. I was my switch. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Yeah, so we're back at school. We're finally together, so we're finally making our video together. And our first video back is going to be a Bisonette Q&A. So basically, we're just taking all the questions that you guys had about tryouts and just being a Bisonette in general. We compiled them, and we're just going to answer them for you in this video. So Disclaimer, this is um, based on our experiences. And like last year was our first year, so um, yep. <laughs> First question is, what styles do Bisonettes perform most? Um, mainly jazz and hip hop. I think we do like a little bit of contemporary for the breast cancer game, which is like way later on, but that's like one time thing. It's mainly just jazz and hip hop, so. Would it be weird to audition as a senior? It's not weird, like, if you want to do it, then, like, I think that's a good idea. I just think as far as, like, with a lot of orgs and everything, you don't get the full experience of it when you join yeah. your very last year. I feel like when you finally feel like you're a part of, like, the group, it's like, oh, it's time for me to go, which is kind of sad. Yeah. But, I mean, hey. But, I mean, at the same time, Bison has some of with you, like, forever. So, you're, you're forever that's forming that sisterhood, but still, I just think it's different when you're experiencing it at a college level versus when you're an alumni. How likely is it to get in without much training? <laughs> um, unfortunately, no, I'm kidding. Everybody is at different points, but we have all been trained technically at some point for more than five years for sure. Yeah. It, it's probably, probably longer than, than five. Yeah. <laughs> at least yeah. eight, like at the minimum. So when you think about the team that you're joining, you have to look at like who's already on the team. It makes it harder when you're in a group of people who are technically trained and have been for a very long time. But that doesn't mean that you can't. Like if you have just like a really raw talent, it's like, okay, we can work with it. I feel like you should still go for it. But I think you should always consider like when you audition for anything, who's already on the team and like where you stand, like what you can contribute and what you think might be a little bit too much. Good answer? Oh. Wow. Plus five points. Very profound. Okay. What are you guys looking for in new members? Basically, I would say basically what you just said. Uh, somebody who's like just has something to contribute and add another another like, like vibe to the team, I guess. What are my chances of making the team if I'm stronger in hip hop rather than jazz technique or vice versa? You can still make it because I'm not the strongest in hip hop. Do you disagree? No, but I can blend. I can blend. Like I'm not like so horrible at hip hop. Like it's not my favorite. But if you teach it to me, I go home and practice. I'm not gonna stick out. Like I don't think. But I, I definitely, I wouldn't. I definitely would say though, if you have training in like one area and you've never been like exposed, like, exposed to, to the other one, I don't yeah, know if that's really true. possible in the dance world. But that's true. I feel like if you're very so like if you're a jazz dancer and all you all you do is like compete jazz and learn jazz and you don't do hip hop, then that's I would very say true. I agree. Maybe there definitely has to be some type of hip hop ability and then vice versa if, you, if you're better in hip hop and jazz right you have to be or something that can, that has potential to grow that can be grown yeah. like on this team how did the schedule impact your studies <laughs> <laughs> it's it's from okay the set schedule is seven to nine monday through thursday that doesn't always happen just because of different things that occur throughout the week and like different conflicts so Seven to nine isn't bad. The majority of us are used to like having been in a studio and like competition and stuff like that. You come home late, you have to do your homework, you eat dinner or whatever. Like, I don't think the late nights are the issue. Well, at least not for me, but like random practices. I don't know, I really don't have a problem with that because I'm used to it. But you, if you have like, if you're the type of person who needs to know like a set schedule all the time, like you're not able to be flexible, then it might be kind of an issue like, Sometimes we have pop-up events, sometimes we need to practice on a Sunday, then have a game on Monday, like it just... You gotta say it's really important to just, like, be open and be flexible, because yeah. we have set, a set schedule, of course, but I feel like as far as, like, our team and a lot of teams that you'll join, there might be another time where you need to, like, come in to perfect something, and you just kind of have to be okay with that. The next question is, um, I haven't taken a dance class since I was little, is that a problem? Yes. Yes, I was gonna say yes, it's a problem. <laughs> Unfortunately... <laughs> No, yeah, no, that's not good. <laughs> I just feel like there's a certain a level of technique that 
you is different versus when you were little versus now, and oh, there's yeah. a lot of things in between that need to be learned before auditioning for I mean, pretty much any any pre-professional team. Yeah. Um, that sounds so rude, but I don't need. Yeah, but mean I'm it also like not gonna say don't try out because it, anything could really happen. But at the same time, there's like I don't know. There's always a chance. Yeah. But it will be more difficult because at, at an audition, like, things are thrown at you super fast. You have to, like, literally apply everything that you have. Like, your tech, you have to depend on your technique for real or what you can do. So, like, if you mess up the combination when you get to your improv, you got to, like, throw stuff in there. So I feel like knowing how to do that after years of practicing that and dance will really help you. And, like, not having that is kind of, like, it's kind of rough. Like, how long does the season last? Like we literally home. started practicing the week after we auditioned. Like, yeah. it was literally like, you auditioned, made the team great. Now, here's practice because we have... And slave. Come to practice on Monday because now we have another event next week. So, yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, so the, 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 the oh, season, no, we did not answer that. I'm literally going, <laughs> the season literally... La- oh, we did it. We started with... Talk about we, the beginning. Yeah. The season literally lasts... Was, like, literally starts, like, the week after you audition and kind of really ends never. Because, like, <laughs> never, you never get out. Like, this is, you're in it for like, life. Like, we were, like, late March, early April. They said last time they went longer yeah. than this year. Like, it really depends on the team. Know, yeah. If the team is doing, doing well, well and goes which, to, like, and their season is, like, long, there's a lot of games are scheduled, then we'll finish the season out. But last year, it was, like, the beginning of <laughs> the beginning of April. February. Yeah, kind of early. Then we started doing events. And then we had, yeah, we had more more time for events, so we fit a lot of those in because we like to do community service and stuff. So, yeah. What type of events do y'all do on campus? Um, we have <laughs> <laughs> we have um, what is self food Thursday? Oh yeah. Oh, like little events like that. Like people ask us. To yeah, do. it really depends on the year. People time. ask us yeah. for what time we have, what our schedule is versus like what, what they do, want us. We'll do hills classes. Um, like it's really for entertainment purposes, exercise classes, fitness stuff like that. So like just little pop up things for like boards yeah, for other or boards. like Soul Food Thursday, just to get some excitement going on. Um, how often do you guys practice? You kind of answer that Monday through Thursday, seven to nine, and additional practices whenever we see fit. Whenever based off of we're failing the practice. Okay. <laughs> how does it feel being in the stands? Great question. I love this question. No, <laughs> get it all the time. Actually, <laughs> the stands is my favorite part, and I will tell you why. She after wants to I sit think next of to the niggas, the football niggas. That would be so funny to keep in this video, but I, I just don't know if I can take that. Like that was a hit to my character. <laughs> um, I'll think about it. Uh, but no, that's actually not true. I don't want to sit by anyone, but. I do. I think it is more personal. Like people are right next to you, and like I remember during homecoming, like friends would be like, "Oh my God, girl, go off!" Like you're doing stands, and like they're in your ear. Like that's so cute. People can see you from wherever, oh, ever, ever, so they can take there. videos of you in the stands. I love getting videos of me in the stands because I love myself. Yeah. I just think it's fun. Like you get to take breaks to kind of talk. You're watching the game. It's a little bit less pressure than being on the court. I don't know. Like dancing on the court is just like. Oh, I think it's fun. Do it. I think let's yeah. Do it. I think there's two different vibes. Like it, on the court, on the stands, it's, like we. It's that's something vibes. we know. We always doing stands. We yeah. learn stands in the beginning. It's something that it's we so know cute. how to do. So it's like fun. We're not really worried about messing up. Continue. No, like on we the court. talk so much stuff in the stands row. Like it's hilarious. I love yeah. it. Then on the court, it's like it's this is serious. Time. Now I'm now I'm nervous because I don't want to mess up this new dance that we just learned. Do you perform at every game? No. We can't like we just can't then we won't and we also don't do away games which is also why the season is shorter than the actual basketball season so like when they leave and go I was just to say what do they do they play basketball when they leave to go play basketball at other schools we don't go there are tryouts public or just in front of the existing Bisonette members unfortunately they are public they're a public event. Basically, you're in a fishbowl, and it's called the fishbowl for a reason, meaning that everybody can look in and see what you're doing. But if somebody's walking past or they're in bird, then they can look. Like, nobody's going to be like, um, you can't look. Is the routine that you make up on the final day in groups or a solo? It's a solo, not a group routine that you perform. The last question is, what is your favorite thing about being a bisonet? Sister, it is really... It's really refreshing, honestly, because before I joined bisonets, I was... I did have my friends that I had made, but... 
I was feeling like I was missing out on something and to be in a group of people who love dance and like love performing and are like very funny they're very funny girls so um that's really cool I think my favorite is the performing part I mean we all want to perform I think that's why we joined so basketball season is just a fun time it's tiring it's pretty draining but I enjoy that type of like let's go let's do this dance we have a game Saturday we also have one Monday so we have to practice again like I like that it's I don't know how to describe it. Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> like, you have people that you're performing with, but at the same time, they're, like, now, like, your friends, so like, your sisters, yeah. like, you're really close, and now we can do everything with you. Like, we can do everything together. Aww. Like, it's, like, um, practice mode where it's, like, okay, like, we have to practice for an event coming up soon. But then when that's over, and we have, like, a uh, time in between, like, like the wait. one between games, like, okay, let's go somewhere. Let's right. go to one of our houses for a party. Like, <laughs> like let's... Mischief. <laughs> yeah like bro yeah. Yeah. a lot of places where it's like it's real serious and dance is like it's very, is very competitive intense. it's very comp right? like, 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 competitive and tense you're not my sister i'm trying to like i'm trying to look better than you right i'm trying i'm just here because i have to dance but like no you're here because you have to dance yet you're making a relationship with these people that you right no, <laughs> that you yes. spent with that you spent like nine months together right. making up dances it's very beautiful yeah. So that is it for this video. It was our first video back on campus together. It could only go up from here. Can I cut that out? No, it was cute. Okay, that's fine. All right. All right. <laughs> um. Yeah, we'll have more exciting and interesting content to come soon. On Tell that videos below, which you want us to, which you want to see, whether one. Because now we're back together. Yes. So it's about to. Period. Go down. Okay? Not, okay. I still hit this like when I'm really excited. Like she hasn't said I know she's real, she's real lit. Maybe we're not funny. No, I think she's lit. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye.